on a little bit sooner because I do think the severe weather threat's over for us here in Syracuse. <sighs> okay, so we're going to start to catch our breath. Yeah, tomorrow will be a new day, a much quieter <laughs> day. We're going to show you some pretty cool pictures here, Michael. First of all, at one point we had multiple tornado mm. warnings. This one was the first set of tornado warnings. You can see my tweet of the day showed the rotation around the Lowville area and West Turin. The reds and the greens close together. That's the sign of a supercell thunderstorm. So these were Doppler radar indicated tornado warnings. That doesn't mean there was a tornado necessarily on the ground. Could have been damaging winds, could have been lightning, could have been a tornado. We haven't had any reports though of a tornado, and that's a good thing because had we seen a tornado, more than likely we'd be seeing some pictures by now and more widespread damage, although we've had some damage. And the National Weather Service may be investigating some of these severe storms today. We had a gust to 60 miles per hour in Cortland at 554. Verona, check out the size of that hail at 1.8 inches. Now we did have a report of a funnel cloud here in southern sections of Herkimer County, right on the border with Otsego County. But that was just a funnel cloud coming from the base of the thunderstorm, not touching the ground. That does not make it a tornado, even if there was a tornado warning. We've got a line, the secondary line now of thunderstorms. The first one really dying out further to the East. Then some light rain in Syracuse on fossil service experts live triple Doppler radar. Third line, sure, it's scattered isolated back here. May or may not survive before it reaches Syracuse. We're going to continue to monitor that. Southern sections of Cortland County around Greek Peak Marathon. You've got heavy rain, some thunder and lightning. There you see a strike right there. That goes to Cincinnati and then up into sections of uh, northern Shenango County. Central sections of Madison County around Erieville over towards Morrisville pretty soon. Stockbridge, Vernon, Verona. Boy, you got hit really hard in this area with damaging winds. Kirkland also right now some heavy thunderstorms there a lot of lightning heavy rainfall it's working through the eastern section of Oneida County now into Herkimer County around North Wilmert currently and uh, there's the last of the tornado warning it has moved towards St. Johnsville and out of that area so that's some good news for Herkimer County as it's quieting down 71 our temperature the temperature cooled off after upper 80s with that sunshine but we're almost matching the temperature of the dew point. It is still sticky. The cold front is yet to move through. That's with that third line. We'll notice lower humidity by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. Here's the future cast. 8 o'clock tonight, the secondary line of storms should be well southeast, and we shouldn't see any more severe weather by 8 o'clock in central New York. A few scattered to isolated showers and thunderstorms with a third line trying to come in. Not quite as impressive as you can see here on the future cast. So as we go through the overnight that does taper, we'll get some partial clearing and patchy fog. Breezy to windy in spots now that'll be dying down tomorrow. A breezy, cooler, less humid day could be a pop up spotty sprinkle during the afternoon. Most of the afternoon and daytime for day one of the fair will be dry. So your forecast for tonight 63 degrees. We have a ton of humidity now. It turns less humid winds out of the west 10 to 20 miles per hour, but stronger in some of the thunderstorms, which are now well east and southeast of Onondaga County. So our scattered showers and thunderstorms gradually come to an end. The Syracuse metro area, we are done with any severe weather, although we still could see a, a pop up thunderstorm with that last line. An isolated uh, spotty sprinkle tomorrow during the afternoon hours. The morning should be dry and I think the evening will as well. We're going to drop to 76 for the first day of the fair and the temperatures go down from there. Thursday, an isolated shower at any point, but mostly dry. Partly sunny in 71, feeling a little fallish to end the week on Friday. 69 with lows in the lower 50s, upper 40s in most of the countryside. My pick day is Saturday and enjoy it. We're going to have lots of sunshine this upcoming weekend. Big crowds at the fair, 71 on Saturday, 73 on Sunday. Temperatures with more sunshine and dry weather going up Monday and Tuesday. Michael. Team coverage continues.